new heavens and new earth. And we've been talking about the aspects of how uh, God has already begun that process. Isn't that exciting? Yeah. Yeah. And no matter how bad it may look out there, uh, mm -hmm. things are shaking because God is uh, transitioning things. He's not causing the bad things to happen, but the bad things are melting. <laughs> and confusion among darkness uh, is because the devil knows his time is short. So we've been talking about the fact that God is already invading, if you will, the earth uh, with his new heavens and new earth. New is the original blueprint. Remember, we talked about that. So tonight, I want to go right into what we're talking about, so we have plenty of time for our roundtable discussion. Hey. Amen. We're going to talk about tonight, in class number five, the saturation and transformation of light. How light plays into this whole new heavens and new earth uh, uh, aspect. And we're going to start with Habakkuk, a very familiar scripture, but... I hope that maybe we can just kind of stop and investigate. It says in Habakkuk 2.14, and again, invite people to come on here because uh, it'll help somebody that you know to just jump on here with us. Habakkuk 2.14, for the earth shall be filled. When it says filled, it means saturated. The earth shall be saturated with something. With the knowledge of the glory. <laughs> echo, echo. When it says the word knowledge, it's the Hebrew word yada. Yada, yada, yada. Literally, the word yada or uh, the, the word knowledge in the Hebrew is yada is the acknowledgement the perception, <clears throat> and the illumination of God's glory. So the earth shall be saturated with the acknowledgement, the perception, and the illumination of the glory. Of course, we've talked about glory before, the Hebrew word kabod, meaning weighty presence, the ever excellence of his name, nature, rule, and realm. So the earth shall be filled with the perception, the illumination, of the glory or the weighty presence, the ever excelling of his name, nature, rule, and reign, the glory of the Lord. How? As the waters cover the sea. And the word cover there is interesting in the Hebrew and Greek. I didn't put those words there, but it means to overcome. To conceal and to change. Amen. Amen. So, this is very important to understand because what we see here is that the knowledge of the glory is another aspect of the light. The light of the knowledge of the glory. Amen. Amen. Pastor Bubba is here. Amen. <laughs> the prodigal son has returned. <laughs> so, I really want us to, this is going to kind of kick off everything. So, when it says in the book of Habakkuk 2.14, the earth shall be filled. How many of you believe the earth shall be filled? Yes. 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 We believe that the earth shall be filled. Yes. With something. It'll be saturated. With the knowledge of the glory. As the waters cover. The sea. Well you know the waters covering the sea. Doesn't mean it sits on top. But it saturates. It goes down deep. So God is doing a deep work. And a lot of people are missing it. Because they're looking outwardly yeah. mm -hmm. it? to say, what are you doing, God? And God says, look deep. Yeah. 
For the earth shall be filled, saturated with the acknowledgement, the perception, and the illumination of the glory of the Lord. So the earth will be filled. So when a glass is filled, I know we're very intelligent, but <laughs> I really want to go slow tonight. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah. This is why I made less stuff so we could go slower. When a glass is filled, it's not sitting on top of the glass, is it? But if it's filled, it's what? Inside the glass. Yes, there you go. So the earth shall be filled inside with the knowledge of the glory. Romans chapter 8. It groans and waits for the manifestation of the sons of God. All creation is groaning. So the earth shall be filled, saturated, meaning it's on the inside. With the acknowledgement, the perception, and the illumination. So we're filled with the illumination. Of the glory or the presence, the excellence of God's name, nature, rule, and realm. As the waters cover or overcome, conceal, and change from within the sea. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So notice it says in John chapter 1 and verse 4, we're talking tonight about the saturation and transformation of light. In him. Mm -hmm. Where? In, in, him. in him was life. life. In him. Mm -hmm. Not around him. Mm -hmm. Not on him. But in him. Was life. Or you could say the precept. And that life became the light. Or concept. Of men. Hmm. In him was life. The precept. The beginning. The essence of life itself. Right? Yes. And that life, that life in him became the light or concept of man. Life, the Greek word zoe, means beginning, quickening. The life is the zoe. The beginning, the quickening that produces light. Mm. Ooh, help me, Jesus. I'm so excited. Mm -hmm. It produces light. If his life is in you, yes, you can't help it. It will produce light through you. Yeah. But we haven't known that. Oh, we do here at KRM and Kingdom Churches. but And you know what I'm saying. But in many cases, we thought, no, wait. We're waiting the light to come on us. But God light shines the light in us. Emanating from the life. So that it can come through us. So it can come through us. But this is why it's important to understand that. The life or the zoe beginning and quickening in us produces the light, phos, revelation of new mm -hmm. of the new through us because light mm. or concepts without life or precepts mm -hmm. is vain imaginations oh, wow. 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 yeah wow. yeah mm -hmm. let that one sink in <laughs> this is why there are a lot of knowledge in the world, but knowledge alone puffs up. It's, a, it's an empty cloud. It may have facts, but it has no truth. So light, I want to say it again, light or concepts without life, the life of God, our precepts, is vain imagination. Okay, light, that's right here? Yes. Light without life. Yes. This is why it says, in him was life. Yes. 
and that life became the light of men. So the light comes from the life. Yes. If there is no life, that light isn't real. No, well, yeah, it's a false light. It's, because and even it says the... in scriptures that the devil can yes. transition himself mm -hmm. to look like wow. an angel of light. Yeah. But he has no content right. of life. Oh, wow, wow, wow. How many of you know the devil has never had an original thought? Yes. No. <laughs> All I can do is copy and twist. Wow. It's important to understand these two scriptures today as we get started tonight for where we're going. Yeah. <laughs> Are you all ready to travel with this? Yes. With us? God's light. We're going to number one. God's light. And if you're writing this down in notes or if you have a study sheet online uh, through our website, uh, take note. This is number one. God's light has a, trans, a, a saturating frequency. God's light has a sac, saturating frequency. A sound. Light actually has a sound. And a voice. And we've talked about the voice before. The Greek word is phone. Light has a sound. It has a voice. And it has a saturating frequency. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So, mm -hmm. under number one here, and again, I'm, I'm really doing more of a, this is why I'm sticking with the sheet. I wanted to really become a teaching that we uh, can see processed, okay? I, I can preach, but we're teaching tonight. <laughs> This is so important to understand, especially when we're talking about the new heavens and the new earth, because it's already begun. Light, under number one here, point A, light, God's light, has a genesis. Or literally a source and an author. Light becomes a resource of the source. Genesis 1, 3, and God, the source, yes. said, what? Let there, Let there be light, or literally resource and reflection. But God is the source. If he's not the source of our light, we have a false light. We have new age mm -hmm. without God. Yeah, right, right. Come on, amen. amen. All these other little things. <laughs> like the universe, does it? <laughs> right. So, God said, the source said, let there be light or the resource and reflection to reveal the process of creation already hovered over by the Spirit. Remember? The Spirit hovered over the waters and then God said. So the Holy Spirit, the very life of God, was already hovering over the waters of creation. And God said, let there be light or a reflection of what I'm creating. So Genesis 3, 8, part B, or part A, I'm sorry. Later on, when Adam and Eve trespassed and they were hiding from God. <laughs> How many of you know you can't hide from God? Uh, they were sure hiding from God, thinking they were hiding from God. But they heard, it's uh, Genesis 3, 8, part 8. They heard the voice of the Lord walking in the garden. They heard the voice walking. Yeah. <laughs> the voice was walking. They heard the voice walking. In the garden, in the cool of the day, they heard God's voice walking. He hadn't made himself manifest. Yeah. So, so powerful. That's a vibration. Mm -hmm. yeah. The original DNA, DNA knew God's sound. Mm -hmm. Jesus said, my sheep hear my voice or they know my voice and I know them. Mm -hmm. And another they will not follow. Um, yes. So can we go back to one? Yes. <laughs> yes. So then. 
from the inside. Yeah. We, we haven't, uh, I didn't, there are things I have to weed out all the time, but I will put this in because isn't it interesting that in the New Testament it said, was it Peter and John, their shadow yes, the healed the yes. sick? Yes. Their shadow there is actually, when you do a cross study of the Greek, their shadow was actually a reflection of the glory. Yes. It wasn't like a shadow casting a, a, a shadow dark, yeah. but it was actually a shadow reflecting the glory. Yeah. So even the reflection of the glory healed the sick. Man, that gave me chills just thinking yeah. about and it. I like to think <laughs> of it like a wake, and a wake expands. Okay, in the water. Yeah. 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 You know, but it's, again, through yeah. vibration. Frequency. But it had to have a source. Yes. And so everything else is, becomes the resource of the source. So it emanates from within because we're made in the image of God or literally his imagination. So now I become an extension of him through reflecting him. Representation is another word. Whew. Wow. Okay. So light has a genesis, a source and an author. God said, let there be light. And then Adam and Eve later, when they trespassed, heard the voice of the Lord walking in the garden in the cool of the day. They heard his voice walking. Their original DNA knew God's sound. Jesus said, my sheep hear my voice or they know my voice and I know them and another they will not follow. This is why Jesus said, I am. Well, first of all, he he am the word. <laughs> right <laughs> grammar <laughs> but the word has a sound and the word has light so Jesus said I am the light of the world before we're the light to the world we have to be the light of God's original intent amen so you and I are walking around as representations of the kingdom. You are literally expressions of the original blueprint that God intended for the world to be. God so loved his cosmos that he gave his only begotten son to return back that which was a lost. Oh, coffee. Now I'm really going to be. I'll be here in a minute. Oh, hello, class. Light, sound, voice are all part of the re reflection, representation of bringing God into the earth. This is why Jesus said, I am the light. I don't have the light. I am the light of the world or what the world is intended to be. Then he went on to say, you're the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid, right? So he said, I am the light of the world. He that follows me or the protocol of that authority shall not walk in darkness or ignorance, but shall have, look at this, the light of what? Life. The light of the life. He shall have the light of the life. Oh, wow. You know what? I, I know we think we know what I'm saying. But wait till you start driving home and it hits you. Uh, because I don't, I'm not sure, but I don't think it's sunk in yet. We can say, yes, well, Dr. Rick, we know this. I mean, we've all known this. Circle. Yes, amen. Hallelujah. Yes, we have the light of life. Well, guess what? It's going to hit you. And when it does, it's going to change your thinking. Because we don't just have light in an intellectual knowledge. We have the revelation of the life that is in us. The, the actual life the source 
and whoa, just hang on to your steering wheels when you go home. Because we are supposed to be we are supposed to be revealing, everybody say reveal. reveal. We're supposed to be revealing the original blueprint. I will make the crooked places straight. I'm going to bring back into alignment. I'm going to begin to bring the new heavens. I'm going to straighten things out. The old is going to pass away. What's he trying to say to us? He's not out to just destroy stuff and start all over. He is out to renovate. I, I, we like to watch. I don't know if this is a good example, but I'm just too excited to let it go by. <laughs> but we watch those house shows. Does yeah. anybody watch those house shows? Yeah. Love it or listed, a uh, flipper something yeah. else, and then one of them, uh, uh, this old house, and all that kind of stuff. And usually, what they do is they tell you how many of you watch those houses uh, shows. They they show you uh, how bad it looks now on the inside, and then Joan Gaines or whatever, and Chip Gaines, Joanne Gaines. Uh, we love them anyway. But she then they had to do this computer overlay of what it's going to look like when she's done with it Amazing. now and it look it's going to look totally different but it's the same place think of that backwards think of the overlay as your original and what took place in the world through the trespass of sin made it look like it's bad now but God is using you to bring it back to the original overlay. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. He restores all things. He restored. In other words, this isn't the first time makes all things new. that when, how many of you know when we grow in the Lord, it's not the first time you were there. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. You know, have you ever said, I knew that. I just didn't know I knew it. Yeah. And you begin to become acquainted with who you are in him. And you're saying, oh. And it totally does away with who you thought you were. Because now you're coming back to the original blueprint. Okay, let's move on. So, God is bringing things back to the original creation. This is why all creation, as Judy said, is groaning. They're not groaning to be destroyed. They're groaning for renovation, uh, you know, waiting for the manifestation of the sons of God. So let's go to point two. We've got to recognize that in the true light uh, that we can talk about, there is a life that makes it genuine. But then in the world, there are many false lights. We talked about it a little bit. There are many false lights in the world that imitate but have no authority. Yeah, vain imaginations. Second Corinthians chapter two verses, uh, chapter I'm sorry, eleven, verses thirteen and fourteen. For such are false apostles, deceitful workers, transforming themselves into the apostles of Christ. Oh, and no marvel. For Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Does it mean he is really the light? No. no. He's transformed into a copy, into a counterfeit copy with no content. Wow. Matthew 24, 11, and you can look these scriptures up and... Uh, also, verse 24 talks about false prophets. And we're seeing a day full of pro false prophets, mainly in the media. Yeah. Huh. Uh, who, and in government, who declare things that are just not they so. Just true. They're just not so. So. <laughs> so. They give false visions, false dreams. And in many cases, right now, what the enemy's approach is, is try to make it look like there's no future at all. Yeah. Unless you comply with some kind of numbskull situation. Yeah. But God is, is, I'm telling you, he said enough is enough with this. Yeah. He's about to show some light. <laughs> yes, amen. So, 
God says in Jeremiah 14, 14, I did not send them. God wins. Period. So we win. It says of these false prophets and apostles and so forth, 2 Timothy 3, 5, they have a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof, or the authority and the source. From such turn away. In the list are these things, disobedient to parents and authority. So we're, we're seeing that in society now. Yeah, and sometimes there are some calling themselves the church that are going along with it uh, to, to keep themselves thinking they can be relevant through compromise. Yeah. Yeah. But you're not relevant through compromise, you're just compromised. Mm -hmm. So the light never reacts to the dark. God is not reacting to anything that the devil's doing. But the dark definitely reacts to the light. That's it. Because the light doesn't have to react to the dark because the light is the only thing that has life in it. That's right. That's right. Life is and by the way, it's called eternal life. Yeah. I mean, even believe that's kind of a long lasting thing. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's go to point three. Are we good tonight? Mm -hmm. Light does not just brighten the view on our curtains, current circumstances or systems. But it changes it. I think this is a problem that, that many people are having. They think the more light, the more I'll be able to see what's going on. But God doesn't want you just to see what's going on out here. He wants you to be the light of change. That is more than just a revealing so you can see better. Oh, help me, Lord, with this. God's light. Oh, Jesus, this is so powerful. God's light colonizes the seed, even underground. Because the light is from within the seed. <laughs> wow. Again, when you're driving home. Why, why is it that the light, even in, in, in natural agriculture, the light, and some of you guys know this better than me, the light actually has a photosynthesis, right? That doesn't just sit on top of the earth, it actually goes down into the plant. So... God's light actually colonizes the seed even underground because the light is from within the seed to produce root. The devil has no idea of the roots that are growing in you right now. That produces what will manifest. The root from the light and the life expand the ground. How many of you have ever seen those time lapse things where yeah, root goes so down cool. and the ground goes? Yeah. Yeah. Well, <laughs> can I just tell you, without any kind of fear of contradiction, I can tell you the truth is you are changing things already. Yes. Come yes. on. Mm -hmm. You are already shifting the ground mm -hmm. of this world. Because it's not just the preachers behind the pulpits that are doing this. It's the body of Christ. Amen? Amen. It's all of us are ministers of the gospel with a certain purpose and definition. That before you were born in your mother's womb, the light declared the life in you. The light, life in the light. To begin to shift things. So your roots are going down. And it's, it's causing the ground to expand. Because the the seed makes a demand on the ground to expand for its destiny. Hallelujah. So, 
Light transforms the thing it saturates. Like a laser fire. The knowledge of the glory of the Lord shall saturate the earth with a penetrating fire. Wow. With a, with a life-changing fire that will begin to illuminate and show mountains have moved. Seas have parted. Locations have changed. Come on, somebody. All because you were just standing there as his creation. Yes. Amen. We don't even... See, we thought we had to go, In the name of Jesus! Hallelujah! <laughs> and you know, we really, you know... <laughs> but God says, Will you chill? Yeah. Amen. You have no idea of the nuclear power plant that's on the inside of you mm -hmm. already scaring the devil spitless. Come on, somebody. Amen. Well, if we really begin to, to understand the light that is already emanating light, mm -hmm. that is already beginning to change the landscape of the new heavens and the new earth to be revealed, you would understand why the devil's so nervous right now. Mm -hmm. Because he says, oh my gosh, they're getting it. They're understanding the kingdom. I, my time is short. Mm -hmm. But not our time. Mm -hmm. It's not the end for us. It's just the beginning. Preach it, Dr. Rick. <laughs> Amen. Back to the sheet. Light transforms the things it saturates like a laser fire. God cuts through and begins to annihilate those elemental things that are not him. It's, as we said, spiritual photosynthesis. I, I like to separate words. Photo. The seed sees a photo before it is. It's photosynthesis. Thesis literally means purpose. So the, the seed is in line with the picture it's going to become. It has a synergy. And once we line up to that synergy of God's ordained purpose, we begin a photosynthesis that God can begin to move through. You know what he's really saying? He's really saying, would you relax? <laughs> would you let me move through you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. will, you try, try to, will you stop trying to do it for me? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Would you please let me do it through you? But when, when will I know? When it, no, that's too much I. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yes. Just begin to tell him all he knows. Mm -hmm. that's right. Come on, somebody. <laughs> begin to say to God all you know. You are the all-knowing God. Mm -hmm. You are the one who, who created the heavens and the earth. You know, and then as you begin to exalt him, he'll begin to show you you. That's right. Mm -hmm. And he'll begin to glow through you, and you'll say, Whoa, it is no longer I am that living, but Christ that lives in me. <laughs> Hallelujah. Oh, yes. So, it's a photosynthesis or produced results by processed purpose. This processes life. In other words, there's all kinds of, of the power of God inside of us. Yes. And the problem is we haven't processed it. Because we're listening to too many other lights. Yes. Yes. Well, and we're being minded by too many other lights. But what, what you just said, uh, processing for God. Shouldn't we learn to, to, I mean, you know, all of us, I'm talking to myself, to wait yeah. before we speak. Mm -hmm. Af to wait after the process. Mm -hmm. Not when the process starts, but after we have processed yeah. it and refined it. He strengthened and settle you. And then we can and then we, speak. See, the reason why, because speak is, is, you could say, the result. 
of the life. Mm. We speak what life is in us. Yes. Right? That's a good point. Because we oftentimes only mimic mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. what our mind is telling us. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. But God says deep is calling unto deep. That's I want you to go down is. deep where I am. Mm -hmm. Because the life is in you that is world changing. But you've got to stop being minded by your intellect. Mm. Wow, that's Bless really, you. Yeah. You've got to stop being minded by your intellect and start being minded by the life. Mm -hmm. The author has authorized you to speak his light. Mm. But sometimes it's mixed and God doesn't like mixture. Mm. It's mixed with... Ah, uh, but they say this, and I'm yeah. kind of concerned about that. And this. Yeah. and God says, this is why you need to close yourself alone with me in prayer. Yeah. You need to set aside time with me, not because I'm just wanting you to look so spiritual, but because you need to clean out you and renew your mind. You need to begin to fill from the inside out instead of taking so much from the outside in. This is why he said it's not what goes into a man that defiles him, but what comes out. You can tell what's been coming in by what's going out. That's it. Because, because the, the life is the source, the light is the resource. Wow, isn't this something? I'm picturing if the church got a hold of this and began to walk in it, yeah. Yeah. You can see why we don't see those miracles now. Yeah. Because we live in stupidity. Well, well, and also I think because we tend to say to okay, we need to say this is why we need to do a class on healing, but we need tend to say okay, there's somebody that's sick. Oh yeah. But wait a second. No, that's what you see on the outside. Yes, but they are healed. But if you see them as sick, you're going to have a hard time. Because you're going to think, well, they're sick, and so it's going to take a miracle mm -hmm. for God to make them well. Right. When God says, no, look from the inside out. The see, I want the you to see them as I see them, as totally restored to the original blueprint, yes. and the healed, and then speak to that. Yes. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Because we tend to say, from the outside, whoa, this is going to take a miracle. But God says, no, you're supposed to represent me. Yeah, it may take a miracle, but but in other words, we need to see them the way he does. And then speak to them the way he says they are. Yes. Not just confession, not just, you know, right. word of faith. I'm not talking about that, but I'm talking about, about actually becoming resources of the source mm -hmm. instead of instead of recording what we see. Mm. The mind is a tricky thing. Have you noticed? It's very strong. Yeah. Oh, yes, it is. So if we're trying to get the sick healed, it's difficult. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But we're trying. If we're trying to get the healed restored to their health. Yes. Yes. To overcome the sickness, we have a shot. I've always said I can, that I can believe in healing for myself more than someone else because I see it. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. Boy, it's we're going to have to do a class on healing. So, we're talking about photosynthesis. Uh, literally, it's processed life, producing the power and light in and through us. Florida power and light, kingdom power and light. So note, prophetic light, everybody say prophetic light, is a visionary process of revealing the kingdom life already in process of emerging on the earth. So when we prophesy light, we're, we're not ignorant and saying, I don't, I'm not in touch with reality. No, we're saying, no, I'm speaking to what God is bringing forth before it manifests. So I'm shining the light of what he sees, how he sees it before it's even manifested. This is why he said, thy kingdom come, 
by thy will being called done in earth yes. as it already is in heaven. Yes. It's an inside job. That's it. Yeah, because knowledge there, they perish for lack of knowledge, isn't yeah. just intellect. It's yeah. it's actually acknowledgement. Scripture makes more sense to me now than ever. Wow. We look from the inside out. Can somebody say amen? amen. Yeah. Not the outside in. Chew on that. Yes. And until next time, what do we say? Yeah. To the king.